There's a statue near the White House, a lady with a blindfold over her eyes. She's known as the Grand Lady of Justice. She's there to hear our cries. I passed by this majestic statue the other day while visiting D.C. She stood there standing tall and proud for all the world to see. In one hand, I noticed she clutched a Bible. It was there to let everyone know that justice is tempered with mercy when the courthouse sometimes we must go. In the other hand, she held a set of scales there to weigh both right and both wrong. For justice, it plays no favorites. That's what makes this country strong. But when I gazed upon her honor, this lady that we hold so dear. I noticed there upon her cheek was a single solitary tear. At first I thought I was mistaken. Perhaps it might have been rain. But the skies that day, they were perfectly clear with their amber waves of grain. Then I thought about that tear on her cheek. What on earth could make this lady cry? For she had nothing to be ashamed of, only time had passed her by. Then I thought about justice here in America, how it's blind or so we're all told. But everyone knows that justice today is something bought and sold. For somehow the rich man has tipped the scales that once swung in equal balance. For poor man, he is not the money to hire the best lawyers with the best talents. Two things in life you'll never see, I'd bet to my very last dime. A rich man in the county lockup or in the penitentiary doing time. I guess that's why this old blind lady had that tear there upon her face. She cries for all the poor people who are alone in pleading their case. There are two kinds of justice here in America. The rich and poor are worlds apart. That's why the grand lady sheds her tears. The injustice just breaks her heart.